You know, it's funny. Um, everybody makes fun of me that I drive a minivan. But what people don't understand is I'm a family man. I have children. I have two children. So, <clears throat> listen, when I was younger, and, you know, before we had kids, I had, like, really nice cars. <laughs> I don't think you understand this. Listen to me. I had, I'll just name three. Okay, I had a Mercedes, and I can prove this. I will prove all of this to you. I had a Mercedes E-Class, that was like the uh, AMG package. Uh, it was like awesome, man. I paid like uh, eighty thousand for the car. I had um, the Tahoe. That was a real like man car, the LT model. Um, I had the uh, Chrysler three hundred. Okay, which was uh, real like this, you know, sports package. So. I've, I've had like nice cars, but these are not family cars, you know, now I'm a family man. So what am I going to do? You know what I mean? I can't, you know, you know, the funny thing is, is I'll make you laugh. Um, I've always loved Mercedes my whole life, but you know, there was this one time I told the story when I picked up um, a couple of Mex Mexicans, remember, Pedro, he had to paint my house in Jackson, New Jersey. And there was a four-way stop sign in, out in Jackson, and the stop sign fell down, and I, I I didn't see the stop sign, so I kept going, and I got into an accident. Man, that, that Mercedes got, like, wrecked in the front, and the, the guy had this, like, 1980 pickup truck, <laughs> and he didn't even have a dent on it. He didn't even have a scratch on it. So it kind of changed my feelings on um, Mercedes Benz's a little bit. Um, but with that said, you know, everyone makes fun of me. Listen, this is a very luxurious minivan that I have. This isn't like a piece of garbage. They got TVs. They got one TV on the left side, one TV on the right side. They watch movies. They got surround sound. They got, you know, they play all their game systems in, in the car. So, I mean, when you're going on long trips, you know, they, uh, they have the time of their life, the kids, in this minivan. So, I don't know why everybody's making fun of me. It's a great family car. It's actually, I think it's actually quite impressive, the uh, Chrysler Pacifica. It's a wonderful, wonderful minivan. It's a wonderful family car. But look, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. I'm an entertainer. When we mow as the ape father will get, you know, a really nice luxury car just for me. Can I do it now? You want to know the truth? I could. I could, but it would require me to do things I don't want to do. You know, I don't want to sell gold. I don't want to. I definitely don't want to sell any more stocks. I mean, especially at these low prices, I'm not going to sell. <laughs> you know, I want to. I want to buy. Now is the time to buy at these low, delicious prices. So, like for me to get a really nice luxury car right now, I I could do it, but I would have to move money around, and I, I just don't want to do it. I would rather wait. You know, right now I'm very comfortable in my family minivan. Gets me from point A to point B. My kids are happy. My wife is happy. So I don't see the point of it. It's got low mileage. It's a very reliable car. So there's no need for me to, you know, and, and as a strong man personal finance would say, a car is a depreciating asset. It's kind of like something you should really get when you have the money. You know, like you don't want to like, like right now for me to spend eighty or $90,000 on a car, it would be stupid. I'd rather keep it, you know, in AMC and GameStop and gold and silver. And of course I need my food money. <laughs> now you might say, that's just a waste of money. It's not a waste of money, not to me. I enjoy life. I love life. I love food. Some people um, eat to live. I live to eat.